we respect our witnesses. Witnesses come to us out of sacrifice. They sacrifice their lives. They sacrifice the lives of their loved ones. And we respect that. When they come to us, they do that voluntarily. And they do that out of the need for justice. Everything that we do with them is out of confidence. And we treat everything confidentially with them. So I'm not going to sit here publicly and say which witnesses have withdrawn or give credence to anything, to any of the media or the publicity that you have had about alleged witness withdrawal. The question that you must be asking yourself is why? Why is it so peculiar in Kenya? Why is this happening in Kenya? That is what you should be asking yourself. All I can say is that we are ready with our case. We are ready to start the case next week and we have got witnesses to come and prove the allegations that we are making against the, the suspects. Like in anywhere else, we have got problems with witnesses, finding witnesses, finding people who are willing to come and testify. In some situations, we face that problem because the witnesses are afraid, because we have got warlords who are still out there, and these people are out there to kill them. In this case, we are facing a situation where we've got witnesses who have got to testify against their own leaders. That becomes a problem, a particular pronounced problem. We always have problems of witness intimidation, witness tempering, and trust witnesses. We have had unprecedented levels of that in Kenya, uncharacteristic of any other situation that we have had. And it is a serious problem. And as everyone knows, without witnesses, Without testimony, you cannot have any cases. So the problems that we have had, as I say, they may not be necessarily peculiar to Kenya, but they have been particularly pronounced in Kenya, given the situation that we are dealing with and the political situation and the politicization of the ICC in Kenya.